Welcome back, everybody, to another Taskmaster Challenge here on Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And this one's going to be really interesting because there's a lot of decisions I'm going to need to make. Starts out simple enough. 1935 tech for the British Empire at 20,000 meters, one battlecruiser for us. We are facing 1940 tech. German Empire, one of everything, battleship, battlecruiser, heavy cruiser, light cruiser, and destroyer. That's the easy part. Here is where it gets challenging. We have to use the large cruiser hull, which is smaller than the other battlecruiser hulls. Uh, we have to be treated... Well, there's a series of um, points that we can earn, and then there's a series of bonus points we can earn. So the kill points, 25 points for the battleship, 15 for the battlecruiser, 5 for the heavy cruiser, 3 for the light cruiser, and 2 for the destroyer for a total of 50 points. But there are also 50 bonus points to be had. How do you get the 50 bonus points? Well, you can get 20 bonus points if you don't use 17 or 18 inch guns. So max 16s. Uh, if we want to get those 20 bonus points. You get an additional 20 bonus points if you sink the battleship without using torpedoes. And you get an additional 10 bonus points if you sink the destroyer with torpedoes. Now, it gets more complicated than that. There are some other rules. Uh, all main guns must be in single turrets and of different calibers. So I can only have one single 16, one single 15, one single 14, etc. We also must have secondary guns and have at least three different calibers, though you can use double and triple for those. So in other words, you can have, you have to have twos, fours, and sixes, or four sixes and eights, etc., but they can be multiples. So those are all the rules we're dealing with. So we'll start with uh, the rules uh, for getting the bonus points, and the only one in the build is, of course, to avoid 17 and 18 inch guns, which should be simple enough. Let's go ahead and dive into our build. So here's my thought process as I've kind of queued up some initial things and then we'll scale them back as we need to. My thought process is that there's no way that I can put enough armor on this thing to protect myself. So we're going to have to go with the old battle cruiser adage that speed is armor. Uh, I'm also of the mindset that 100 points is probably not doable for me. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm just going to spam torpedoes and not necessarily worry about the um, the 20 point bonus for not using torpedoes on the battleship. We do need to get our mains on here and we'll put a 16 up front. And a 15 in the rear, they have to be singles. Although we could get rid of that bonus too and go for something better than singles but I'm not going to I'll at least try for that bonus uh, I am however going to load up massive amounts of torpedoes on this thing although weight is going to become an issue as that's 202 right there off the bat or is that 400 how does that work since we're putting one on each side is it actually 400 now it's oh yeah it is 400 so it's 400 tons every time I throw one of those on there. Secondaries, we need to have three different types. So let's get, and we'll throw some eights on the front and the rear. We'll throw some sixes on here. and some force and we're already overweight look at that my goodness half a ton uh, half a knot gives us some weight back um, not super heavy shells let's go standard shells Give me, give me range on torpedoes. Oxygen? I'm not worried about cost. They, they do weigh more though. Maybe we'll just go with standard torpedoes. Okay. Um, I'm going to take my chances that I won't 
run into any torpedoes, and we're going to spare ourselves the weight that way. All right, how about some singles? Maybe some quads, I don't know. Do a single one there. Maybe I should put barbettes on this thing. Uh, give me an increased amount of torpedoes. Where else can we throw some? We're gonna have to have to do the barbettes. Which is gonna add weight, but that's okay. Main guns, single 16 up front, single 15 in the rear. Where does that put us on weight? We've still got a little bit. That puts me over, so we can't do quads. That still puts me over. Oh boy. Alright, let's remove some of this belt armor. And maybe add some more speed back. And maybe some more tubes, some singles. Alright, that just about does it. Maybe I shouldn't worry about radar so much. Oh man, that's a lot of weight I can save by not having radar. Since we're primarily going to use torps, maybe I can get some fives somewhere. Right up front. A little more speed. Thirty-nine knots. Maybe to go to barbet four, drop a little bit more. All right, let's try that. We're a little heavy in the front. Maybe we can back this thing up and deal with that. All right, it's ugly, but it might work. Let's try it. All right, here we go. All right, we're going the wrong direction. At least we can detect them. I wasn't even sure we'd be able to detect them at 20. Oh, we've only got 100 shells of each, 16 and 15, so let's turn those off. I'm going to turn the torpedoes off for now, too. We've got to make, sure, make our shots count. If I take a plunging shot right now, especially if it's a 19 or a 20, I am in real trouble. Let's hope he doesn't have 19 or 20 inch guns. Alright, what is it that we can see here? He's coming right at me. He's already in torpedo range, but... It, oh my gosh, I already got hit by a 17 inch shell. <laughs> Lovely. We're going to have to dodge torpedoes of his, but we also have to get in really close to make sure that we can land our torpedoes. Get our secondaries firing. That's the only thing I want to be firing right now. Oh, another 17. I'm down to 85% already, and I haven't even gotten close enough to be able to fire. A couple of 14-inch shells have hit me. I'm down to 81%. Jeez. I really don't have a prayer, do I? 78%? Holy cow, dude. Alright, let's turn on our big guns. See if we can get a shot on them. Let's 
That's it. That's his destroyer. I doubt we're going to hit him with a torpedo. we got to worry about his, though. Put a couple of torpedoes in the water, but not too many. Because he'll just turn away from them. As he's already doing. These are what, 3.4 kilometers. And I'm probably still not able to hit him with a torpedo from here. Oh boy, there's two 17 inch shells. Yep, there he goes, he's turning. There's just zero chance of hitting him with a torpedo. All right, let's try to put some on the Scharnhorst. Keep my secondaries firing on the V6. We gotta watch for his torpedoes. Uh, another 17. Now put a, a torpedo on him. Ah, we sank him before the torpedoes got there. Darn it. Alright. No bonus points for that one. We're already down to 57% though. Another 17. Those 17s are killing me.
Oh, another one. Down to 25 knots of speed. Oh, jeez. Two more 17s. Down to 42%. I'm getting flooding up front. All right, let's get some torpedoes in the water on this guy. He's eight and a half kilometers away. Not even firing torpedoes at this point. How about on the Oldenburg? Can we get some? There we go. Now we're only going 14 knots. Now I have no speed for armor. That was a pretty nice hit on the Prince Heinrich, though. Prince Heinrich just fired the last of his torpedoes. Which we need to avoid. Oh, boy. And that's going to be easier said than done. And that might be enough to finish me off if I don't get in between them. Which I might be able to. There's a nice gap right here. Oh boy. Alright, we got the Prince Heinrich. Well, at least we got his destroyer and his heavy cruiser. light cruiser is. I'm going to get my guns firing on the battle cruiser. I got a better chance of getting a lucky hit on him. We'll keep our torpedoes headed toward the Oldenburg. 13 knots, man. I can't even catch up to him at this rate. They'll just run away from me and keep their distance. There's the light cruiser. No incentive whatsoever for him to get any closer than where he is right now. He'll just fire away at me. Oh man, we managed to get a torpedo hit on the Oldenburg. I mean, it's not much, but it's something. It only means something that there's like three more behind it, but there's not. I don't see any other torpedoes. I'm just about done for. I'm pretty well just dead in the water. Just a matter of how many shells he has to fire to land the killing blow. Be aggressive with the torps. Just spray and pray. far out is the 11.8 kilometers. Why aren't we firing? 
We got a 15 kilometer range on these things. Fire them. I don't care. Just put them in the water. There we go. We'll put them on the Sharn horse. Down to 9%. 6%. I think that's all we're gonna get. Man, that was tough. Be curious to see who was successful with a different build, a better build. Three percent. Any chance at all any of these torpedoes are going to find their way in this direction? Uh, probably not. I don't even see them. Ouch. 2%. Well, make sure you check out everybody else's videos to see how they did with this challenge. Somebody's going to probably have gotten really lucky and done really, really well. That somebody was not me today. Point nine percent structural. This is what you call hanging on for dear life. Come on, run into one of my torpedoes, darn you. Oh, so close. There it is. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again next week.